James called up the office of Dr. Matthew and requested an appointment on April 19, 2022. The doctor's front office executive collected the basic information from him and gave him an appointment with Dr. Matthew for April 19, 2022 at 3 p.m. Hi, my name is Jenny from Dr. Matthew office. How may I help you? Hey, hi, my name is James. I would like to make an appointment to see a doctor for my stomach ache. Okay, please provide your basic details. For patient appointment scheduling video already created, please check the above i button or check the first link in the description below. This process is called as appointment scheduling. Jenny, thanks for scheduling an appointment for me. It's nice talking to you and you have a wonderful day. Thank you, James. Now the front office executive called up the insurance and verified James's eligibility for April 19, 2022. She came to know that James was eligible from January 1, 2022 till December 31, 2022. This process is called as insurance verification. James showed up for meeting Dr. Matthew at his front office at 3 p.m. on April 19, 2022. The front office executive requested James to fill up few forms. James also gave the insurance card copies of all insurances that he had. Patient fills various forms such as ROI, ABN, COB and provides personal and insurance details. This process is called patient access or patient pre-registration. These details are scanned as images and sent to the offshore medical billing office, for example Access Healthcare, Omega Healthcare, AGS Health, R1 RCM etc., for demographic entry. A patient account is created in the medical billing software. After collecting James' details through the forms, the front office executive allowed James to meet the Dr. Matthew. James met the doctor. The doctor inquired what is his problem was and he replied that he had dysentery. The doctor checked him up and found that he suffered from food poison. He prescribed him some medicines for it. Doctor asked James to visit him if the problem still persisted, even after two days. The entire conversation was recorded on a dictaphone and the recording was stopped once James left the doctor's room. This process is called Encounter. The doctor connected a microphone to his computer and dictated his observations to voice recognition software. The software recognized his voice and converted the dictation into a medical document. This document called Electronic Medical Record, EMR. Simultaneously, the voice recording from the dictaphone was sent to an office. The associates over there listened to the information in the voice recording and converted it into a medical record. This process is called medical transcription. The medical records both from the software and the associates were sent to another department. The executives in this department reviewed the medical records understood the disease of the patient, the treatment provided, and the changes during the treatment if any. They have been provided some predefined, unique and standardized codes for the medical condition. The treatment and the changes occurred during treatment. This process is called medical coding. What is the code for disease or condition called? Diagnosis code. What is the code for reporting the changes during treatment? Modifier. What code describes the treatment provided? Procedure code. The medical codes provided were annotated on the medical records along with other treatment related information. This document is called charge ticket or charge sheet. In the meanwhile, the information was scanned to the billing office. It was forwarded to a medical billing company and the executives reviewed the scan documents and extracted the information pertaining to the patient, policyholder, the guarantor, 
the patient's employer and the insurance covering the patient. The information was entered in billing software to create a patient account. What is the name of the process? Demographic entry. What is the billing software? Practice management system. The medical record annotated with codes was sent to a department for entry. The associates in that department captured all the relevant information on the annotated medical record. Upon entering the code for the treatment in the billing software, the amount for that treatment automatically was filled in the corresponding field in the billing software. The other treatment-related information was also entered. After all the treatment-related information was entered, the billing software combined the information in the patient account and generated a claim form for the visit. This process is called charge entry. Claim form generated could be sent in two ways, to the insurance. One by post or courier and the other by electronic data interchange, EDI. What is the method by which the claim form is sent to the insurance by post, or, by courier? Paper claim submission. What is the method of transmitting the claim form to the insurance by EDI? Electronic claim submission. As James's claim was sent to insurance by electronic, the claim was to be validated for format errors and converted into the format acceptable by the insurance. For this purpose, the claim was made to pass through a third party software which did the validation and the format conversion. This software validated his claim for any format errors. If there were any errors in the format, it would reject the claim. As there was no format error on James's claim, it was forwarded to the insurance. What is the name of the claim that is rejected by the software? Rejected claim or dropped claim. What is the name of the claim that is forwarded to the insurance? Clean claim. What is the name of the software? Clearing house. The software generated a report showing, the number of claims submitted, the number of claims forwarded, the number of claims rejected and the reason for rejected claims. The report generated by the EDI software is called Scrubber Report. James's claim reached the insurance and it was received by a department where all the claim information were verified. All the information were acceptable and they forwarded the claim to a department, which decided whether to pay, or, not to pay. The department decided to pay one of the treatments and the other treatment was not paid. The treatment to be paid was billed for $200, the insurance allowed a maximum of $180, in that they decided that $160 will be paid by the insurance and the patient would pay the remaining $20. The other treatment was not paid because it was not covered by the policy. This decision was communicated by the insurance to both, James and the doctor by a document generated by another department. The department in the insurance decided whether to pay, or, not to pay. James's claim is called Adjudication. What was the document that was sent to both the doctor and James explaining the decision of the insurance? Explanation of Benefits, EOB, and Electronic Remittance Advice. ERA The doctor received a check for $160 along with the document. The check and the documents were scanned to a department in the medical billing company. The associates in the department entered the payment received and the reason for the denied payment. This process is called Payment Boasting
they identify that the patient needs to pay $20 and the insurance needs to pay for the denied procedure. The responsibility of following up with the insurance on getting the payment for the denied procedure was given to a department in the medical billing company. This department is called Insurance Accounts Receivable or AR Calling. The responsibility of following up with the patient for a payment of $20 was entrusted on another department. What is this department called? Patient Accounts Receivable, Patient AR. A bill for $20 was sent to the patient by a department in the medical billing company. Ultimately the patient paid $20. The doctor got another $100 for the denied procedure from the insurance and $20 from the patient. These two payments were posted in the billing software, and James's claim will be zeroed out and closed and moved out from the outstanding bucket and practice management system. This entire cycle is called Revenue Cycle Management RCM. This story repeats itself every time a patient decides to go for a treatment. This is not just a story. This is a description of a process. Hi, this is V Billings. Hope I have done something helpful for you, and not wasted your valuable time. If you felt worth watching this video please do subscribe, like, and share to your friends in order to encourage me to do more. See you on next ones take care and utilize your time, bye bye.